What is going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to be doing another deadly set combination a series in which I show you guys a few sets and the insane synergy between them that you may or may not thought of. Now we are coming up on a dot meta in ESO here in a few weeks so I feel it's really important to get this video out there and make you guys aware of what the top tier dot sets are going to be. Let's get into it. <laughs> Welcome back guys, and before we get into the bread and butter of today's video, a huge shout out to my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing. I honest to God mean it. You guys are funding my crippling addition to soy sauce. Like for real guys, I have like 20 boxes right behind the green screen like right now, just ready to go. Thank you so much for keeping me unhealthy. And please consider the, giving the channel a like and sub even before you watch the content or know what any of it is about. Okay, so let's get started. Now, the first couple of sets I'm going to mention is primarily for the DK. Most people who watch my channel are DK mains or enthusiasts or at least curious about playing the DK. But we are going to get in some other sets that are pretty much applicable to any match class. Sorry, stamina fellas. You guys have had your fun with this set. Okay, now it's our turn. All right, so the first set we're going to mention is Deadly Strike. If you guys are unfamiliar with what Deadly Strike does, it's a phenomenal set. So this is getting the hybridization treatment. It's called Deadly Strike, right? So it's weapon damage, weapon critical, weapon damage, and then all your dots do 18% more damage. On the PTS, all these are hybridized, meaning you get the spell crit as well as spell damage. And instead of the 18% buff, you get 15% buff. Now, Dots are easily purged, they're easily played around, but some classes don't have them, and there are classes like Plague Break, for example, that actually punish you for purging set effects. Now, what? why is this so important? So, on a lot of stamina builds, there's really not a lot of dot builds. I mean, they're, they're very few and far between, and they're usually not practical, right? Now, making this hybridized for magic classes opens a whole new world of sets that you can run so the very first set is kind of there's two parts to it so the next set we're going to look at is elf bane this is just for the mag dk again we'll get into other builds for other classes here in just a moment so elf bane so this increases the duration of all your flame dots so the reason this is so good with deadly strike guys i don't know if you took a look at the tooltip on talons talons hits hard as fuck okay pardon my language but it hits insanely hard and to have the duration doubled on that is insane okay not in addition to that your burning stats effect is also getting another five second boost along with all your other dot abilities and again another set that you really want to pair with this is grothgar so grothgar if you guys are unfamiliar with what this set does um, it gives you maximum magic for the one piece and then uh, when you do damage while you're near someone you uh, put out this flame ring that does X amount of damage. Now, this is dot damage now it used to be direct. On the PTS, my tooltips right now for Rothgar are looking to be at around 1500 per tick which pre uh, nerfed all these proc sets by like 50% right? It was around 2k. You're right, 2k you know, kind of on the low end. now. The beauty of this is that Grothgar can crit now, so even though it's only going to be hitting for like 1500, like a tick, well, you're going to have 100% uptime because of Elfbane, which is going to increase the duration of this by 5 seconds, which gives it a 10 second lasting rate on a 10 second cooldown, so it's essentially 100% uptime. Plus, this will be hitting hard as hell, okay? And then with change to charge traits, this Grothgar, even though they nerfed the chance for Grothgar to apply the Burning Sass effect, like the charged trait is going to be amazing with this. Okay, so you're going to have so much sustain just come coming from your AOE dots, like literally all the time. Anyone you hit with your talons or dots, like they're just going to marinate the entire time, and you're going to get so much magic back from Burning Sass effect. So this is getting into kind of scary territory, where some classes can literally push all damage, all tank ability. You know, so so what do you do about that class, right? So I'm really hoping this doesn't get nerfed. DK needs its time to shine, but that's just one small combo right that i'll get into i'll run on the pts you know kind of see what you guys think i'll i'll, I'll give my you know, honest opinions on, about that when it actually comes live but magden guys magden is going to be very scary with deadly strike why am i saying this so there's all kinds of other magicka proc sets that have dot damage in them okay so let's take a look at the magden for example you have fetcher infection okay this by itself is probably the hardest hitting dot in the game fetch infection um the uh, other morph or whatever whatever the base form is so it, it applies a uh, minor vulnerability plus it 
provides a hellacious dot on whoever you're focusing. There's the AoE version, there's the single target version. The single target version does 50% more damage, okay? So it's going to bolster this. This is just a class ability. This is going to be hitting like a truck, okay, guys? It gives you minor vulnerability and another set that pairs really well with Deadly Strike is going to be Icy Conjurer. Now, Icy Conjurer is a hellacious set, especially in duels. When I used to run duels, like religiously back in the day, I would always crush on Icy Conjurer. What Icy Conjurer does, whenever you apply a minor debuff to your opponent, which Faction Faction does that intrinsically, so you don't have to use something like Ellie Drain to proc, you know, minor magic seal or whatever. That it sends its ghostly uh, whatever target at them, and it does so <laughs> much damage. I've never seen a proc set hit so hard over a 10 second duration. Again, if you have purges, you're going to have to have this, guys. And another set you could possibly pair with this if you didn't want to go the Icy Conjure route is Oblivion's Foe, surprisingly. Oblivion's Foe is phenomenal. So it gives you the spell damage, it gives you uh, penetration, it gives you crit, which, you know, everything can uh, crit now for the most part. The five piece also gives you weapon and spell damage, but it makes your soul trap hit so hard, guys. If you're going to be using like a dot intensive build, Oblivion's Foe is amazing. Like even right now, I was in a BG earlier on today. I got lit up by Oblivion's Foe and Fracture Infection. Those two dots on me alone, I, I, again, without the hybridization treatment, like those two dots alone, I, I just couldn't heal through like uh, on a mag DK. It was pretty incredible. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So of course you would pair this with something like Malakanth, for example, Malakanth bolsters everything by 16%. Yeah, it does nerf your crit damage by 50%, but you don't necessarily have to run Malakanth, right? There's a bunch of new mythic items coming out, which are pretty cool, especially uh, one of the mythic items. It, it eludes my, uh, my brain because my brain sucks, but essentially it gives you uh, spell damage just intrinsically and resistances for every three or higher piece set you have equipped. So that's just some options for you, but guys, Listen to Horcrux on this one during the double XP event during the Wish Mothers Festival. I myself am going to be grinding up a Magda just to try out these dot builds. I think it's going to be really fun, especially for you know, any match classes who just want to do something different. Okay, this is our time to shine, y'all's time to shine, whatever. Okay, this has been Horcrux. I really hope you guys kind of found this informative. Maybe it's got your cogs turning as well. Let me know if some of the sets I missed. I want to try to keep this as short and sweet as possible because I know you guys are busy and actually have a life. So you rely on us, you know, us content creators to kind of give you the, the cliff note versions of what's going on. So you have to think through for yourself, which is awesome because I like working smarter and harder as well. So let me know down in the comments what other sets would pair really well with Deadly Strike because I really want to get on top of this as soon as the PTS goes live. I want to have so many crazy builds for you guys, not just for the bag DK, but for the Mag Sork, the Magden, the Macro, pretty much a Magic class. I may get around to doing a Stamina class, but I just think Magic is more fun. That's my play style. See you, so have fun. So with all that being said, guys, this has been Horcrux. Thank you so much for being a part of the channel and the community. Don't forget to like and sub, and you all have a great rest of your evening. Peace.